Hello. New Octavia skin out of nowhere. Yes, please. The Irido skin is only available through Prime Gaming, which is... Uh, I don't know what it is. But it comes with Amazon Prime, so maybe you've got a good friend with Prime, or you're like me and you haven't burned your 30-day trial yet. Now's the time. Linking accounts is pretty easy. Log into Warframe.com, find the Prime Gaming link, and follow the instructions. There's other stuff besides the Octavia skin coming. There's an armor set, a skin for the Ogress, looks like an affinity booster, and... Uh-oh. Is that a Shazen? Looks like it's just a skin for the Dax Shazen, but I guess we won't know until July. The Octavia bundle also comes with a glyph. It's a reskinned Octavian action glyph, and instead of a Tenora, it has an Ogress. Hey, my loadout screen always appreciates more Octavia glyphs. Now, okay, well, let's give this Octavia skin a whirl. Now, which Octavia to put it on? Wait a minute, is that a new one? <laughs> yep, it came bottled with a brand new original recipe Octavia. Okay then, Octavia number 14 it is. Gotta get that Daft Punk helmet. And the skin. Neat. So clearly iridos is short for iridescence. Look it up. That's basically anything that changes color depending on the angle you're viewing it at. Let's see if I can do my usual color scheme. So the parts that are iridescent have two colors. Secondary controls the base color, and the color it changes to when you're viewing it straight on is controlled by the accents. You want to avoid using a bright secondary color because it'll just wash out the accent. <laughs> this is surprisingly hard to get right. I'm not really a dark colored person, but after a little futzing around, I find something I liked. Now there's a cyan donna that comes with linking your Amazon Prime account. Nah. I gotta go with the Boolean cyan donna from Nightwave. Fits the theme and happens to not cover up that big iridescent patch on the back. And I might as well go all in with the Cephalon Suda armor set. Let's push the floating crap theme to the absolute max. If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. FYI, while most skins allow you to layer the prime details on top, the Eurido skin does not have that option. Just as well, the prime details would cover up all the interesting parts. All right, let's complete the ensemble. Until that ogre skin comes out, I gotta give the primary slot to a Simulor. And for a secondary, I like the Tenet Diplos. Diplos? Diplos? Whatever. I'm having a hard time coming up with a melee with good floaty stuff. War? Nah. Broken War? Nah. Give your core? Nah. Kinda sucks. Oh wait, what about that new Archon polearm? Corum. Groom? Corum? Whatever. Yeah, that's doing it for me. I got some Umbral Formas to burn, so let's slap together a build. This is my basic balanced build, and I even have room for the best mod in the game. Fight me. I feel like the status immunity arcanes are hugely underrated. I like being immune to magnetic status as energy drain and radiation status as friendly fire. All right, and last but not least, I need a Daft Punk song. That'll work.
I can stop anytime I want to. I just don't want to. 